Okay. Well done and everyone, yeah. Welcome back to another 1,000 subscriber special. Uh, let's play of Morrowind. Uh, it has been... Oh, I got help. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I guess this is what it looked like. Um, it has been a very long time since I last played this, so... You guys may have to bear with me because I, I may not remember everything. Is it L or J? Okay. Uh, I think, if I remember, I think maybe a couple episodes ago, uh, I forgot to to pick up, you know, there was a second quest and it might have been this one. Sulipan. Right. Well, yeah, Sulipan. Renis asked me to convince Lalara uh, Veraloth to join the guild. If he cannot be convinced, I must kill him to get to Sulipan. Or I must kill him to get to Sulipan. I should leave Balmora East and pass Fort Moonmoth, then cross the bridge to Malag Amor and follow the trail east until I reach a lake. I should see a Dunmer stronghold to the south. If I head north on the path between the hills, Sulipan will be on my left, just before the path splits. And I did it. Uh, very quickly, I, f I feel like this is very loud, so hold on. Well, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Hold on if this volume is okay. What? Well, what is space bar then? How did that happen? Why are my controls... Why did they all change? Thank you. 
<clears throat> okay, sorry about that. It, I feel like it's kind of a rough start. That's a bull netch, I think, if I remember. I want to say, for the most part, they are docile. So long as I keep my distance, I don't disturb them or anything. The date is September 2nd, 2024. Oh, hi. Doing bad. It is good to be back in Morrowind, my old friend. Meaning, you know, when I say old friend, I, I feel like, you know, playing this game, just this game in general, Feels like a, you know, like an old friend, like an old friend you have not seen in a while, that kind of thing. Oh, by the way, if you don't remember, I'm playing uh, Morrowind Rebirth. So things look a bit different to you. Uh, that is why.
now I have to get used to the controls again particularly with the mouse because with uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of Skyrim uh, lately especially I'm really getting into my bard and my whispering uh, I really think that Bard's College Expansion is uh, one of the greatest uh, things to come by uh, to, to Skyrim. Uh, but you know, with uh, you know, with the mouse mouse buttons in Skyrim, you know, the, the left mouse button controls your left hand, the right mouse button your right hand. Here, it's different. You know, it's the left mouse button to attack. Oh, I guess. Again, I don't know why my settings changed, so uh, I'm going to have to watch this back. And, uh, you know, just to make sure that the game volume is, you know, just loud enough that you can hear it, but my voice is coming out, you know, more loudly. Just leave that alone. It should leave me alone. I just don't remember, you know, this Sully Pond and uh, what was the other one called? Yeah, you know.
yeah, this whole Sulipan and uh, Manwei, you know, what was the name of that? Dungeon. Guild member in Punabi. But, you know, those two quests for the Mage's Guild. Uh, I don't remember th those ones being so hard and having a difficult time uh, trying to get there. And I don't remember it being so far, but uh, when I watched back an older one, when I played this about a few years ago, apparently I, I had the same trouble, so... I guess I'm I'm just remembering it wrong. <coughs> okay, this should be Fort Moonmoth. I guess it's called Moonmoth Legion Fort. So you may also want to turn up, you know, your speaker volume, uh, which is the case with pretty much all of my Let's Plays. And, uh, and, and that's why I tried to lower the game by just a bit more, I guess, than what you would normally uh, uh, turn it down to, because uh, that way when you turn it up to be able to hear the game, you know, at a respectable uh, level, a respectable, you know, volume, uh, you'll be able to hear my voice uh, clearly. Versus keeping the, the game volume high and uh, my voice, you know, about the same level of the game. Uh, you know, if you turn everything all up, then it's, it's going to be difficult for, you know, for you to hear me. Look at the water. I'm always uh, intrigued by water mods and just by the graphics in uh, the water, the water in games, you know. So this is a very, very cool looking water. You know, for uh, Skyrim I use uh, real waters too. And again, you can tell this is rebirth. Just look at everything, you know. Of course, you know with the water, but look at Marwind. How it, uh, not Marwind, uh, Belmara. How it has a gate. Is it T? Yes, I can see what time. Nine a.m. Okay. You know, having that gate there um, makes it have more of that Daggerfall feel, right? Is a, a very slow game. You know, play for maybe about another ten more minutes. Okay, Renes, I have returned, and uh, I did manage to convince Lalar uh, to join us. So, good work, Felagar. Maybe he'll give us some info. Can I? Is that right there? Okay. Uh, info on the Talani. I suppose I should find something to give you for your efforts. Here, take these spare potions. 
Your journal has been updated. Four restore magicka quality has been added to your inventory. Uh, do you have Monterey's Gildus? And I have those as well. I thought I did. I'll let you know if anyone else has paid, hasn't paid their dues. An Argonian at the Southwall Corner Club is offering training in restoration without the sanction of the guild. I want someone to step or to stop his unsanctioned training. Southwall Corner Club. Uh, I have word that an Argonian is offering training in restoration. This Argonian, whoever he is, does not have the sanction of the Mage's Guild. Convince him to stop offering unsanctioned training. Okay. Yeah, I'll Welcome, go ahead friend. and do that. We extend you our warm regards. Thank you. This uh, club is. <clears throat> oh, what a beautiful day. Look at that. Good day. Greeting, own. citizen. I'm Sotilde. Sotilde. This town is, it's really too bad. It's so small, right? The text. This town is Balmora. Uh, Consul Skat of House Hulalu. Uh, we're loyal citizens of the Empire and proud of it. Uh, well, most of us anyway. So, are you looking for someone in particular? Are you looking for services? Is there some specific place you'd like to visit? Um, hmm. Okay, so I cannot ask about this unsanctioned training. I guess I just have to look for an Argonian. Sugarless Habasi. It was an Argonian, right? Uh, yeah. This place looks like it's bigger. You know, like all this, I remember it. I don't remember this actually. I remember maybe there being a wall here and that Argonian would be standing maybe right here. Because again, this is rebirth. And same thing with those vines. The ivy, I should say, you know, coming, you know, down from the ceiling on the walls. I don't remember that fine detail like that. So might be new. Yeah. I like it. He only stands there. Yeah. Greeting citizen. I'm only only he stands there. Welcome to Belmora. 
We're a house Hulalu town, okay. And loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Uh, I heard from Rennes. Uh, I'm with the Mages Guild, by the way, and I heard that you might be um, uh, performing uh, training and restoration without uh, the, you know, the blessing of the, the guild. What if, hypothetically, you were to return to Rennes and tell her that I agreed to stop any unsanctioned training and suppose that if you did that, I decided to offer training to my good friend Felagar. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I'm beginning to um, not really um, trust or I don't know if trust is the word, but I'm just not really, uh, you know, getting a positive feeling from Rennes, you know, the way that she thinks, her mentality. I don't know if it is the entirety of the guild that think this way or just her, but her methods are very extreme. It's one of those things where join us or die or pay us, pay your dues or die. Um, why do you have to pay dues? Is it like... Uh, like a membership fee or it, it was never really um, you know explained you know it didn't really go into detail about that so it, it sounds almost like it's extortion so I feel as if if, if uh, you know this Argonian just wants to train aspiring mages you know in, in the, the you know the spellcraft of uh, you know restoration uh, I say let him so yes, I'll agree to that. Very well, I will offer you training after you've reported back to Rennes. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. So I think at this point, I mean, if it doesn't seem like the you know the person deserves to die or isn't really doing anything that wrong then uh, you know if there's an alternate route to killing them I think I'm gonna go with that look at the boat Did it ever used to do that before? You know, in Vanilla Morrowind? I think not. Just that water is... Wow. Impressive to me. Okay, okay. I spoke with uh, the Argonian. Have you taken care of the Argonian? I have. Good. We can't allow just anyone to offer training in magic. Uh, I told Rennes, uh, a theorist, that only he stands there wouldn't be offering training anymore. In exchange, he will train me restoration. Yep. So that sounds good. Um, well, let's see if there's anything else that he needs me to do. Do I qualify for advancement? I do. Uh, congratulations, you are now officially a Felagar, the Evoker. I thought I was Evoker before, but I don't know, maybe I didn't save that one. Study diligently and perform your duties, okay? The scholar... Itchimarel needs an escort to Palagia but I want Itamarel's notes Itamarel has just arrived in Belmora and doesn't know his way around he wants to be escorted to the halfway tavern in Palagia I don't care if he makes it or not you see this is what I'm talking about if he makes it or not Felagar 
I just want a copy of his notes. He should be waiting at the eight plates. See, I don't like this person's mentality, this Rennes. He, he's, she's um, just very dark, you know. So I'm going to, okay, the eight plates, I do recall, is over here. I'm, I'm getting like, like a feeling of deja vu and just an overlap in memory of these quests because I guess I've done these more than just a few times and I must be confusing this for my last game that I did that I think it glitched out on me that I think it wasn't an updated version of Morrowind is why but now I'm playing Rebirth so and that one that other Morrowind game that I started oh, was it uh, part of the subscriber special I cannot remember I, th I think it was Or, or the uh, other one I did years ago. No, no, it was not this. Well, I think that's what it was. It glitched out on me, so I started over with um, a Morrowind uh, Rebirth, which I think is a title, right? But it's, it's um, you know, taking over or replacing uh, the last Morrowind game, which was just a modded Morrowind, not Rebirth. Uh, you know, as my 1,000 subscriber special. That's what it was. Okay, so I returned. Um, I've told Rennes that uh, you know you're going to stop. Do you want training, Felagar? Ah. Uh. Okay, see, I thought you were going to train me for free. I misunderstood. Well, that's okay. Okay, so... That's good. I'll hang out at this bar for a little bit. For a while, you know. And, uh, and I'm going to end this Let's Play, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And see you.